Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Mad 8 today and today we're just going to do the um, after uh, look of the um, Hoover Junior U1012 and also the Hoover Junior well, they're both the same. Dirt Searcher They're both the same kind of Yeah, they are U1016 2.0 Now 2.0 2.0, yes as you can see now, look, this one now is looking very nice indeed now. Um, I basically used the motor from the 77, which was the first part of the video, um, and the actual, um, the, the actual plastic casing I used of the 77 because the other one had, even though it was in better condition, it, it was uh, pitted here. So, uh, I just, that's what I decided to do. Now, this one now has been rebuilt. Um, I did this, well, This I actually rebuilt the machine in, um, I think it was February, I think, when we had the, uh, when we had the cold, when we were stuck in. So, I decided to get this one built. And I've literally just polished these up this week. Um, yeah, it's a buffing wheel. So, uh, if you have a look underneath for this one, um, I replaced the flex on it as well. Um, so you look how nice and shiny that is. That's almost like you get it new in the shop. The brush roll now is being re repainted. And rebuilt this one was built out, out of two machines where well, I used to two machines to get the best parts so as you can see there's no rust at all on anything um, one thing that Carl did do after I rebuilt it which was something that he decided that he thought like this one here twists and this one doesn't no and you don't think like it's twisting when it's got the second notch in there it has yes it, it looks like the same part, but the, he actually twist, tried twisting it and snapped this part up here off. So I've um, super glued this back in. What happened to it again? Show well, them. I actually... So, and to get it to, to looking like this, I actually had to get um, two handle releases. Because both of these of the machines were shot. Um, I, got one, I got one from... Um, AEG123, he was scrapping a U1012, so I managed to get a working hand release for that one. This hand release on this one, the original hand release on this one was white, opposed to the olive, the creamy colour like it should be. And this is a, I don't think it's a genuine part. So I managed to source another one of these a few weeks ago. Um, so that's when I decided that it would it was time to do the upgrade. And now, the video. The main thing that was wrong with this one, if you look at this motor here, um, this is not the right motor. Yes, it is. Because it has a plastic fan on it. It's supposed to be metal. And it should have a slightly different shaped bod. Uh, the casing is different, and as well, it does sound different, doesn't it? It uses sound like a. It sounds like a high power one, doesn't it? Yes. It's going to burn a so I do believe that this one was fitted in. This one originally was come from a ex Hoover engineer, and um, more likely the motor was better on this one. So, uh, so I managed to rebuild the motor that was in the other one from the 1976 Hoover Junior. Uh, which was the la which was the last one, the really rough sounding one. I've got this one nice and running as it is. I was gonna take it's if got if the I could. Hoover Junior box. That's the Hoover Junior kind of box. Yeah. Motor. Yeah. The box Hoover Junior, whatever that's called. Yeah. So that's the two 
that's the two parts I've swapped into there. Also as well, reincorporating the um, dirt searcher function was not as straightforward as you'd think because I had to, I actually had to take parts off of other machines because the the block the electrical block on a U10 12 motor looks like that and on the um, on the U10 16 it has an extra wire a block for the for the lighting and then because I actually had it like I actually had it originally wired into here like all the terminals obviously the right the plus and the minus but the light was coming on wasn't it as soon as I put power on it was switching the light on which the light should have only switched on when you switch the vacuum on this one also has a so underneath this one now so I've actually polished this one now finally so it's looking very nice indeed now um, underneath this one now I mean we did this one a little while ago that you know there's a few yeah. there's a few bit of corrosion here and that so I, I might address this at a later point um, I think I've got some of these shafts looking as nice as that but I did take the best parts I had in stock to actually get this one looking like that so I might I'm probably going to address this I know I've got this plate here nice and shiny so I might be putting some extra parts on this so this is So Carl's over there playing his game because we're going to do a little demo on this. We've uh, yeah, this demo is not going to be as smooth. Yeah, so they are working. The main difference is these book machines are both now from 1976. The first one, the U1012, was do, 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 do. was from uh, July 1976. That was when the it's a bit strange, isn't it? Because that's when they that was the hottest summer on record. And I think this one we've got now, um, looking at the stats, we're very, we, they were very close to it. Now this one also is from February 1976. So basically, Cole now has the 76 lineup of juniors now, and also the Starlight, which was from 1976. So, uh, so we're doing pretty well with that. Bye bye little. So what we'll do now, we'll get these switched on now. And we'll give these a quick push around. Oh, I like to I like to say this one here's got a slight rattle. And I think it's either the fan. No, it's not the fan. It's either this part here. Sometimes they rattle in here. I think it's these little uh, brush holders. But what you've got to remember is this thing was made of plastic. Die! This thing was made of plastic and um, they didn't have the the same build quality as the 60s machines. So let's get these switched on now and Carl will give these a quick push around. Well, this one? Yeah. Which one are we going to do first? Let's go and see the boat still works on this. Turn that one off. Right. So as you can hear with that one there, that was a really rough sounding one. Sounds really nice now. It's got that. That 70s deep grumble, which it should have. So we'll uh, switch this one on first and just get this with a quick push around the front room. Let's just see what this sounds like. Yeah. decided to reshoot this part of the video because um, originally it was rattling and I've actually cured the rattle I'll just show exactly what it was because um, underneath there are these little retainers that hold the brush roll in these were um, just needed bending back so I had to take them right out 
of the machine and bend them back and they've now stopped rattling now so this machine now is running um, as it should do there's still a little issue with the brush uh, the, the end cap on the left hand side I think on the right hand side actually that's got a Hoover Senior one on it so I'm gonna be swapping that around when I can um, so we're gonna have to look through the spares and uh, find some nice rust free uh, versions to find it so uh, let's get this one fired up now and let's do it under the uh, underground under the uh, cabinet clean fire up Carl we we'll are going underneath the cabinet just to show off the dirt searcher we're better now because it's a it's about six it's about six o'clock now it's going to get my ear funded well yeah we'll put them on not because it's noisy it's because he's got sensitive hearing it ain't that noisy are they come on then Now that is running as it should be now and it's actually looking as it should be now so uh and these are both the first top fill juniors uh 1976 um was quite an important year for hoover really because then they also had the starlight which was their uh terrible power you, you predecessor remember, you remember when we want to open this show what bag we got in there today the you know when you know no one opened this last time yeah it bowed up and packed the thing in there. It did, didn't it? Well, I've actually removed the suppressors out of both of these. And now, there's a tube. And that's got a proper Sheeble bag. That's got the, the demo bag in it. That's got a cheapy Sheeble bag. So uh, we are... That's got a cheap Sheeble bag. I've actually used all the pack of ten now. That's, that's, that's a cheap Sheeble bag. Yeah. The cheap end. Yeah, which, which would be alright for this one. But if you had something, any, anything higher powered than that, you'd probably... Yes. But they're they're more efficient. You have to have this one, and you got more, more high power. So this is the the, the proper German Siebel bag here. Look. How? Let's just see. Just going to show them how much that is in there. Yeah, I can see what's pulled out. Yeah, let's just unhold that. That's right, because they are a nightmare. They don't they don't go in. It's there. Let's have see what it's pulled out. Let's see, that's what it's pulled out of there. I'll actually vacuum with that one last night as well, so it does work very well. So, uh, uh no, let's do that back, back up. All right, I'll get mine for that. taking putting these bags in. Is you don't roll it that way down, you roll it, you put the belt in and you roll it up, um, and they fit. Now, I'm going to show you this one. This is our demo bag, so we'll just see what's if there's anything new that's been tipped. Um, that's the old kind of belt. Yeah, that's the one I, I, I'm going to have to find one of them outside in the, in the, it with the supplies. I think we have still got one. Just roll it up. Roll I've still it got up. the other bag, actually. You roll it up. You roll so if it anybody up. needs a bag, uh, just contact me, really. What was your bag? I've still got one of them bags, um, but it's got a rip in it. It's got a little tear on the bottom, which you can quite easily fix a tape. Yeah, so it's actually pulled the hair out of there. That's what I did last night with that one. So you can see how much hair it's pulled out. So overall, really pleased with this one. And I'll buy some down a Hoover. Yeah, well, you won't be seeing in there. From a decent Hoover. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much for watching. And see you on the next one. Um, might be doing an 80s one next, I think. We've got an 80s one in the pipeline. No, I think it's a pink one. I don't know what we're going to do. 
And I think I need to find a motor. Can we do that? Oh, yeah, to, yeah, we've still got the 1334 no. uh, original one. Needs uh, a bit of work to the motor. So I might yeah, be, and the motor's not I'll working. probably be doing that one in the winter months, I think. Uh, that's Sheldon there. There's Connor. Yeah, I'd love to have a brand new lens for it. And that's always a Hoover bow. No. So, no, if he got a Hoover, it didn't kill its bow. N yeah, that's an old one. So, uh, see. That's our first Hoover, So, please subscribe to Vacuum Mad 8 and thank you very much for watching and bye for now.